I'd love to know from the panel who were your heroes and heroines when you were young because I think we've sold short the younger, younger generation because they've got so many selfish and shallow role models. And maybe I don't think footy players are up, up at the same level as John Monash or Dr Fiona Stanley. OK, let's, uh, we'll go back to Helen Kroger. You can uh, you finish us off there. You can start the ball rolling. Who were your heroes and heroines when you were younger? Well, well, it was easy. When I was in primary school, it was my grade three teacher, Miss Hooper, who I thought uh, epitomised what everybody should be like. And she was incredibly kind and generous, uh, very committed to us achieving our best. And she, without, without question, was, was my uh, role model, you know, at that time. I think, though, as I grew up, I, 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 I don't want to sound corny here, but my parents were a huge contributor into how I, um, uh, you know, shaped myself. Um, they were the biggest influence in my life. I think I was incredibly lucky to have the parents that I did. They helped shape my values, my principles, and their principles and values that abide today. So... I, I consider myself to be very fortunate to have strong family role models. Jenny McAllister. I also had ones fairly close to home, although when I got into high school, teachers also having an influence. I, uh, they screened us a very long documentary called Eyes on the Prize, which was about the American civil rights movement, and it generated a kind of endure, lifelong interest in uh, King and actually all of the people in the civil rights movement. So that wasn't really actually of my generation. It had in fact happened, you know, 20 years before I took an interest in it. But uh, that was definitely very influential. I don't know if I, I... I think it's perhaps unfair to ask any of our current role models to um, step up and be compared with Martin Luther King. He's a quite remarkable person. Mikey Robbins. Uh, Batman. <laughs> I, I love Batman. With all due respect to, to John Monash, he wasn't on a bubblegum card. <laughs> when I was a child, Batman and the monkeys were on bubblegum cards, and, and, and I, I love them. Why, why go for a violent vigilante? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have, what have you got against Julian Assange? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I, I'm just thinking about the legal implications. <laughs> uh, I, look, I think he's got not, enough... Not I think, violent. I think he's got enough on his plate. Um, uh, look, actually, when I was a kid, it was a football player, Eric Sims. Eric Sims uh, from South Sydney uh, Football Club was, was my hero as a kiddie. And then as I got older, yes, well, but... to the rest of the nation, you should explain, rugby league player. Um, was back in the Indigenous day... Indigenous rugby league player. A great, great goal kicker. A great, in fact, a, a man so great that they, they, within playing that they actually had to change some of the rules around him. He, he, he played so well. Um, as I got older, yes, Martin Luther King. Um, but then again, also too, because of the nature I got into, uh, Lenny Bruce when I was about 14, 15, mm. who taught me that you could get paid for swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Not on this show. Oh. <laughs> Tim Wilson. Firstly, I don't think we should deride all footballers. What we tend to remember is the footballers who do the wrong thing rather than those who do the right thing. And uh, I really agree with you on Sir John Monash. Recently, I read um, Roland Perry's book um, on Sir John Monash, and I highly recommend it uh, because he was a remarkable individual in what he uh, actually achieved and should be taught more in schools. But I had three main um, role models. Uh, the first one, bizarrely following on, Indiana Jones, because oh, yeah. I liked him for his risk-taking and I liked the fact that he managed... Uh, sort of adventure with scholarship oh, at the come same on, time. Come on, Tim, he's like a cute guy with a whip. <laughs> well, I'm not denying that either, but that wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't the reason why. Did you say I'm not denying <laughs> I'm not denying it. I'm not confirming it either, I might add. Uh, but I do kind of like the stubble, you know, that was... Oh, kind of... <laughs> Dig uh, that hole deeper, son. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, the other one was, uh, and this... Uh, the other person I really admired was, at the time, was Jeff Kennett, because he was a man who got things done, and that's what I was impressed by, and he had a clear uh, another, vision. Another fictional character? No, no, he, he was definitely <laughs> real. Definitely real, and a very formative figure in uh, growing up in the state of Victoria, because not only did he get things done, he communicated a clear vision and went about prosecuting, and that did have a very significant impact. And the other one, to be nostalgic, is my late grandfather, who's a man who uh, touched uh, me in so many ways, into intellectually, uh, spiritually, Spiritually, personally, in, uh, in what he communicated, the civil uh, virtue that he showed to society, and it really shaped, shaped and affected my view about how people should live their lives uh, and what they should do with them. Robert Mann. Well, when I was a very little boy, I used to, it was a large mahogany radio, I used to listen to Geelong, 3GL station, I went back for Geelong for complex reasons, 
<laughs> and, and it was the, they were like Greek gods, Ron Hovey, names that are completely forgotten, Peter Pianto and so on, and they were my first heroes. The second, strangely enough, was um, Martin Luther King. I remember going to a film which showed, when I was 12 or 13 or something, which showed his great speech, I Have a Dream, and that introduced me to the hope in politics. And then for clarity in politics, when I was a bit older, um, my third hero was George Orwell, for the oh. capacity to analyse and to see things truly and to see through his age. You and Christopher Hitchens, as it turns out. Yeah. <laughs>